How's it going guys? This is Bill Plisky. I'm in Tempe, Arizona. This is my first video of the year. Thanks for joining me. So uh, this painting's requested from my daughter Emily. You see in the reference photo here, this is what I'm painting. These are uh, two of her close friends, Jess and Alex. They're walking here at a photo my daughter took. They're in a waterfront park in Portland, Oregon. So a recent trip that uh, she and my son took to go visit these guys. So this is for uh, this is for Jess's birthday in early February. So I painted this in acrylics so it could dry quickly. I wasn't dealing with uh, oils and weeks and months of having something dry properly. So it started with the uh, with this stuff in the in the far background. Um, you got a little bit of detail in the trees, but not too much. Try to keep it somewhat simple. I do paint my, uh, this is a board by the way, this is a, uh, a I think it's a three fourth inch cradled uh, wood panel, which I love painting on. I like not having that texture from the, uh, from the actual canvas since I don't paint super thick. Um, it's nice not seeing those, those, uh, those texture marks. I, I do paint the background a color just so I can get rid of all the white just in case I, I miss a spot here and there and it's nice also have a little bit of color showing through. I tried to stay somewhat loose with the grass. I think my hope was that if I got a little bit looser with the grass and all the leaves and then maybe take a little more time, add a little more detail to Jess and Alex, maybe they would pop a bit more in the painting. So we'll see how that turns out and you be the judge of that. Definitely need to work on my setup here. My plan is to uh, have a canvas I can, not a canvas, a, a, like a, a mounting situation on the far wall uh, to have it flat, that way I can stand up. Um, I'm kind of tall, I'm 6'5", so I'm sitting down for this, which, which gets you in the back after a while. But yeah, just the angle be great if this was straight on, but it's tricky to keep yourself out of the shot um, with those straight on, uh, the straight on videos. I think my daughter was very much looking forward to seeing how this turned out, especially uh, Jess's striped shirt and her, her sweater whatever that is she's wearing uh, a lot of fun colors in that so uh, hopefully she uh, she likes how that turned out Alex was much simpler he was just just shades of blue and black for the hoodie he had on so uh, he, uh, he made it a little bit easier on me I don't often use a brush this small um, but, you know, I kind of got lost in some of the details here, so it just felt appropriate to use something a bit smaller just to have a little bit more control. I realize that you don't get those expressive strokes you can get with the larger brushes, but, you know, that's part of my challenge, I think, in 2024 is just to kind of grow as an artist. Uh, I like to see myself get a lot better try some things out, figure out my style. At one point here, I try to adjust something and smear it with my thumb not realizing the acrylics was actually still pretty wet and I had to had to redo it an area I 
I think it helped that I had a pretty solid drawing from the start. Um, while it's hard to tell with the reference you see on the left, um, I think my values were okay. I mean, they, they were good enough that things felt right at a glance. Um, they're hardly perfect, but um, you know, it seemed to work. Obviously, just at a quick glance, the grass in the reference photo has a lot more yellow in it. It's a lot brighter. I did this over the course of a couple days, maybe three days. I'm a, uh, I'm a full-time web developer during the day, so my evenings, my, uh, my weekends are often devoted to, uh, to painting. Trying to get some of the values okay here. You can see with his his leg and her leg, they're both extending back toward the viewer. You can see the lights catching those. They're they're a lot brighter than their legs going forward, which of course are somewhat in shadow. Got to get those sneakers in. Oh, the nice thing about having that background of the panel painted red is just you see at a glance really quickly what what you've missed, what you still need to paint in. So you can see his shoes and her other arm still to go here. When I finish these, I typically, for paintings like this one, I'll just paint the sides just black. That way, if they want, they can just hang this as it is and not worry about buying a frame. This is an 11 by 14, by the way. Didn't quite get the camera to the right angle there, so I've got a, I've got a tripod with my uh, my Pixel 6 Pro attached to it, um, which seems to do the job. Um, I'm using Camo Studio to wire that to my uh, my Mac Mini, and uh, you know it it says it's bringing in 4K. We'll see how it looks on YouTube, but uh. Yeah, it's a bit tricky because you want to try to get it in the exact same position you had it last time, yet I've got to take my phone off the tripod pod and, and use my phone throughout the day. So uh, I'll figure out a better solution for that in time. All right, I think we're getting pretty close to wrapping it up here. I think I take a shot of the painting so there you go. So there's the final painting. And then, uh, so here's my setup. Got my lights. There's my easel. My wife bought me that tablet for Christmas, which is really nice to see um, for reference. And there's my, my mess. My son got me these little jars, which have been really handy to mix quick colors and save them for later. That about wraps it up. Appreciate you joining me. Take care. See you soon.